This year had been looking promising for oil as it hit a bit of a bull run following on from the sell-off at the end of last year. That was until April as the market began to take a bearish turn. This eventually led to a big decline last week that featured the worst day for oil in six months. So what has been causing the recent bearish correction? Here's your three minute explainer. As always, there are many factors that contribute to the price movements in oil, including macroeconomic and political variables. At the moment, it seems a lot of the recent big moves in prices have been down to geopolitical risks. Enter the US-China trade war. The US and China are the two largest importers of oil in the world. Between the two countries, they collectively purchase over 30% of the world's oil. This means, as far as the oil market's concerned, when their economic outlooks are negative or there's some uncertainty, this is going to affect demand and therefore be factored into the price of oil. The trade war between these two nations is also having a direct effect on the perceived buying power of the nations, which is making investors nervous. This leads to investors wanting to take risk off the table and therefore move out of oil. If you want to know more about the situation between China and the US, check out our three minute explainer on the trade war from earlier this month. These bearish moves in oil prices have also been in line with the sell-off in equities. US stocks have also fallen by over 5% within the last month. Concerns about the trade war is also leading to a lack of investment, which is harming growth. The US manufacturing growth figure for May showed the weakest pace of growth in almost a decade. An economic slowdown isn't a good sign for oil, hence the reaction that we're seeing in prices. In addition to these factors, when we look at oil, we always have to look at supply as well. Inventory data releases showed that stockpiles have been increasing more than the market expected, although they are estimated to show a decline in the next release, but that isn't out at the time of making this video. Increasing inventories is usually a bearish sign, as it means that there isn't the demand for oil at the current price. However, there are some bullish points to consider that could counter these bearish factors, including ongoing cuts in production from OPEC, which could cap the supply, and potentially more importantly, the rising tension between the US and Iran. Historically, any tension between the US and Middle Eastern countries has caused oil prices to rise. However, thanks to the current slower global economy and trade war concerns, this issue at the moment is only acting as a counterweight on prices, but it has the potential to really escalate quickly. So that's a brief explainer on the situation with oil. As you can imagine, any of these things that we mentioned are very complex issues that deserve more than just a brief line being said about them. And there are other factors that we haven't even mentioned. But this video hopefully gives you enough of an understanding to be able to follow the ongoing stories in the financial press and potentially find some opportunities out there related to oil. If you like this video and you want to see more three minute explainers, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below letting us know what other topics you'd like to see covered in a future three minute explainer, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss them. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next one.